Hey everyone, Sir Jellybean here, and we are back with Cult Arms Gates of Hell Ostfront, Hardcore USSR slash Russian Conquest. It's day 21, and we are back on the attack. So we'll go through a research. If you watched the end of the last match, we got the IS, no, not yet, the SU 122. So that is, I'll just show that for anyone who doesn't know. This is basically a T 34 chassis with a 122mm assault gun on the front. It's an absolute beast. It has high explosive and high explosive anti tank rounds. So we'll go through a deployment wave one, SU 122. Guards Rifle Squad and the Commissar. Wave 2, we've got Guards Rifle Squad and the Assault Engineer Squad, Supply Truck and the Medic. Wave 3, we've got two T-34 57 mils and an Assault Engineer Squad. And Wave 4, we've got two T-34 1943s, two Guard Rifle Squads and the Medic. So we're going very heavy on the infantry and the armour, and the SU will be our siege breaking machine. And the map is going to be 3 star race, 200 manpower, 100 munitions and research. And the map is Kerjal Kerjavala, so really good open map, so it should be good for us. And I will see you in combat in a moment, gentlemen. And here we are in combat, so let's quickly review the objectives. There's three objectives to take. We have Objective C in this kind of farm compound here, very central, shouldn't be too bad to take. Have Objective B over here to the northwest, which is another compound. A little bit of hilly terrain around it, it's not too bad. A bit of cover on the way, that's good. And finally, Objective E over in this farmhouse kind of a barn compound over here right on the other edge so this is quite a spread out map which will mean the enemies are lower density but also means we've got to do more spreading out of our forces so su-122 the beast the daddy one of my favorites actually very happy to use this i don't really get to use it much i don't really play the russians much so these are my guard squads they will do the long range stuff the assault engineers will push through this wood lumberyard and close in as the su-122 just causes havoc oh We've got two guard squad and the sort engineers. Ah, well that's good. Let's get the guards over here. Spread them out a bit. We do have some medics as well, it's good. And the sort engineers are gonna push into here for now. SU-122 can push over here. As you can see, he's got those high explosive anti tank rounds as well, just in case. And we've got contact straight away. Try and engage if you can. We're engaging him effectively. Let's then bring some support from the SU-122. As the enemy is looking a bit deadly there. That should be fine. Where are shooting at? Fire to see him. Fire! As you can see, it's a pretty strong round. You just spread out over the position, SU 122, get in position. The sort of engineers won't mess around, these will absolutely shred the way through. We'll get these guys up. And we'll make the SU-122 Squad 1, or Element 1, should I say. Oh, there is an MG over there, so just take position for now. Take positions. SU-122 is now pushing up. Holy moly, that thing's strong. I can hear a car over there, a vehicle of some sort. Pump another one in just in case. Let's clear the position. That's a kill. <laughs> right, so these guards are going to move up. We can bring in wave three, so we're actually going to bring. We get these uh, T-34s ready. Oh, I paused that. That was supposed to be one. I misclicked. My bad. Number two. Right. Number two, if you want to cut and sport. Number three, if you just want to hold around here. Let's get these assault sappers just in the tree line ready. And we do, that armor's going to be good for support. SU-122 is doing some good damage there. What we'll do, slowly start moving the troops forward. SU-122 is going to do what it does best and cause absolute mayhem. He's not going to fire, is he? I'm not sure. He might do. Come on, do it. Do it. Now he's going to fire. There we go. Shot got up. Oh, is that a Maxim? Take cover, take cover. It's alright, the Maxim is over here somewhere. And this is what the SU-122 does best. Absolute beast for it. There we go, Maxim down, I repeat, Maxim is down. There's another one over here as well, I believe. Oh, yeah, just there. And it's got a quick reload speed for 122mm weapon, it's very powerful. 
I'd say it's actually as good as the Brumbar, not as powerful, but the design of it itself is fantastic. Oh, I think we did some damage there. Let's get the T-34 up as well, and the infantry can start pushing forward now. Provide support. Oh, that Maxim is back up. SU-122 engage. T-34 also engage. Reload, reload, reload. It's quite a challenging little um, position they've got. It's quite well defended. 57mm does have the smaller high explosive rounds. There goes down. I think the Maxims have been cleared. Let's move the troops up over the field. Let's bring the Scar squad up as well. It's got you know, good troops up there. So engineers start pushing around the flanks. SU-122 got an ideal shot there, ideal position to engage. Holy moly, that is just causing carnage. 57 mils with a push up. Got a bit of support fire. Infantry take cover there and start engaging, start engaging. And there we go, some good good firepower being laid down. Assault engineers are going to start pushing the left flank now. Let's get tank number three to start moving up. Move up there. SU-122 just causing carnage. Hit the deck, gentlemen, hit the deck. There's a lot of stuff getting these guys pushing up as well. 57 mil push. Get these guys up. General assault, general assault. Oh man. I'm getting contacted from multiple directions here. Get this T-34 in position. We get the assault engineers here to move up and start engaging a bit. SMGs are not really built for those kind of rangers. Keep pushing forward. Keep it fine. Guard squads. Where's the SU-122? Let's bring him a bit closer. Let's bring this guard squad forward. There's a lot of firepower going on here. Assault engineers are making progress. Let's get healed up if we can. SU-122 is coming in. I think there's an MG or something back there. Oh, it's like an AT gun, I think. Not anymore, it's not. He's down, T-34 securing. Push up to the front. Push up to the fence. Sorry, I couldn't speak there. There we go, we're making headway, we're making a lot of headway. Oh, you! Get in cover. You guys also joining me in cover. He's reloading, he's lazy. There we go. Assault Engineers, Squad 1, if you want to start pushing in, let's take position. In the second element pushing as well. Guards will provide a bit of support. What the hell is that? That's a T-3485. Is it T-34? No, T-28, sorry. I panicked then. No, T-28, that's not too bad. It's a quite a big tank, but it hasn't got the firepower really that it needs to deal with us. And there we go. One hit. Straight through. Crap. Reload, reload. Let's see if we can cook him off. And there we go. He's, he's pretty badly damaged. But he's still moving, no respect. Oh, this will be a side armor shot then. There we go. Good hit. I think he's down. Let's see if we can finish the vehicle off. He's on fire. That's good. That's a good sign, right? Guard squads are doing pretty well there. Heal up if you need it. These squads here, if you want to move up and get in position there, spread out of it. There you go. This one's fine. Let's get this assault engineer squad back out of there. Don't stack up too much. And T-34 pull back once already. Where's the supply truck? Come rearm. Oh, turn your engine on. Let's start rearming. And we will bring in the next squads of troops. We've got the other. We've got two more T-34s, I completely forgot. We've got a ton of armour, actually. So, one T-34 is going to come and support over here. That'll be number four. And then we'll number five. That's fine. That's five. Five's going to push up to here. Guard squads are going to go there. Another guard squad's going to come here. And we've got medics. They can push over there. We've got these medics over here. Is mean, that another supply truck? Is it the same one? No, push them over. What's that doing well? Oh, is that a mortar? Start engaging, start engaging. It's a 50 cent, it's a 5 millimeters. Not, not a tiny one, but it can fire pretty fast. Infantry's cutting through it, good stuff. Good kills, good kills. We just spread a few of you guys up to the fence as well. The rest of you just stay on the sandbags. This guard's fun as well, just push out here for now, just in case they try and flank us. So next objective, I think we're going to go 4E. Should we go for E? Yeah. So we're going to have to get the SU up the road. Assault engineers will follow pretty closely. These assault engineers are also going to join. Let's get back into a squad. We should have enough um, troops to hold the point. Let's get these in the building as well. It's fine. T-34 
T-34s there, we've got a nice mix, we've got a 57 and another T-34 up here. We'll start, he needs to stand up, Go on. And then start moving, and get these guard squads to push forward first, the T-34s can just follow on behind, a bit of sport, SU-122, I think he's been rearmed, hasn't he? it will be fine. Can rearm some of these T-34s, there we go, T-34-57 doing some good work. That is a fantastic shot. That is beautiful. Finish, finish T26. I think it's or T28. Completely wrecked, even with a red star in it. They've just painted over it to respect that. That is a lot of troops coming. That T54, T34, T34-57's doing some good work. Let's get the T34 up here as well to support. And over here, we're doing okay, I think. Assault squad's going to start pushing through the tree line. SU-122 can push. These troops can also push up, get the tanks close behind. Tank to push, and infantry to also push. Combine and push from all sides should overwhelm the forces, these small troops that they've left behind. Small amount of troops, should I say, the normal sized troops, they're not midgets. <laughs> and there we go. And we're doing pretty well. The rounds have been doing lots of kills, which is good. He's getting range with stuff, let's get these guys spread out a bit. We have another squad there as well. Is that another assault squad? That's an assault sapper squad and that's an assault sapper. So a lot of assault sappers, that's cool. So the guard squad here is going to go to the tree line. The objective is not too far. Tank's going to push up. Um, we'll move the tank up first to cover for any, any anti tank weapons. We'll get the guards ready to push up with their SMGs. Fun fact the Russians, I probably mentioned it before, Russians made entire SMG companies. Believing the Germans were doing the same, but they weren't. So the Russians did kind of pioneer that and it worked pretty well. Especially in obviously close quarters and the sort operations, they could lay down and have a lot of fire. That's a lot of troops coming, hit the deck, hit the deck. Get in range, start fighting. Oh my god, SU 122, they're just saying, I'm still here, don't forget about me. Don't you forget. Me. That's just popped into there, that'll be in there all day. Right, SU 122 is going to follow tanking. Christ, infantry is trying to push, but the Finns are just sending troops by themselves. They are not going to be able to make any headway. Good kills, good kills. Right. Let's just move the tank over this way. The assault squad's going to push. Oh, there is a max in there. That ain't good. It ain't going to last long, though, is it? No way. Assault squad to go up the middle. Tank to push out there and guards to push this way. We'll hit them from multiple flanks there. SU-122 is going to say hello to the Maxim, I believe. Let's do it. Good hit. And that is why you want the SU-122. Hit the deck, gentlemen. Hit the deck. Hit up if you need. Keep firing. No, you need to spin this way. Just load, load, load. That's, that's where you come up with a bit of debris. And there we go. That's a good hit. Knocking the cover down. Infantry needs to spread out and engage. Tank needs to move up. These sappers can start pushing a bit closer, I think. Aggressive assault, aggressive assault. What the hell is that? Oh, it's an anti tank rifle. Hit the deck. Do they need ammo? They need ammo. God damn it, get them back. There we go. We're not lasting long. SU 122. He's, he's done another good hit. Jesus, we're absolutely tearing through him with this kind of um, deployment, which is fantastic. Keep pushing forward, this assault squad, get him up there. Tank push forward a bit, watch out for Faust, and guards follow him in. What well, now we've got contact, what is that? It's a T20, nothing major. Still, just in case. Oh, I missed, but I did shake him a bit. T3457. Load, enemy tank sighted. It is a tankette technically, but I'll do. There we go, even through a tree, it's down. Assault squad's close. Keep pushing, keep pushing. SU 122. Let's shake the tree a bit. Good hit, good hit. Right, start to advance, start to advance, engage. Advance, advance, get in there quick, get in there. There we go, that's some good kills. Hit the deck, start spraying. Guard squad's there, it's taking some hits. Hit the tank on the ridge, push him up. SU 122, let's make that barn shake a bit. Let's show we're still here. There we go. Assault squad now pushing forward. Let's get in there. 
SU 122, do not fire on that target for a bit. Turn the tanks this way, assault squad there is fine. Start moving that way. Is he going to engage? I think he is. Oh, hit the building. Assault squad is in, I repeat, assault squad is now in. This should be an easy kill, let's take over a bit. Dun, 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 dun. Let's frag the window. See if that gets through. I think it went through actually. Put some rounds in the building as we go in. It's clear. Position clear, position clear. All targets, we are clear. And then just stack some of these assault engineers up. Actually they'll be need on the next assault. Let's get the guards in there. That's what they're there for. Let's get them spread out into the cover. Lovely. That's what we like to see. We'll bring the T-34s, actually the yeah, he can hold around here, it's fairly, fairly uh, sufficient for defence. So let's squad push forward. 57 and 122, let's get the truck up there. Is those guard, those soldiers got ammo? Good stuff. I mean, cover. Then the final assault begins. The SU-122 will go up, the supporting elements. The reinforcements are going from the west, so you will see hostiles, I imagine. Holy moly. In the deck, push forward. Push forward. Push forward in the wide angle arc, you know, start moving, get the tank up there. SMGs are firing, that's good. We do have more infantry, I believe, yeah, we do have more guard squads, bring them up. Medics, bring them up. Commissar Jelly Bean, bring them up there. These tanks can now start to push, or we'll move. But what the hell is that? That's a 120mm howitzer, damn it. Right. Quick, quick, start moving. If we stop, we might be in some trouble here. Whoa, some hills then. Alright. Crap, we missed. Ooh. There's two. We've got two guns there, two gun systems. Load, 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 stop. Take aim, take aim, take aim. Damn, that was a miss. Go, put it forward, quick. That is multiple enemy anti heavy artillery. We will shoot, we will shoot, baby. We will shoot. Load, 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 load. Been engaged by armor, I believe. Right, good hit. Keep going, keep going, keep going. There's a light infantry gun. It might be a light harvester, should I say. There we go. It's firing at us now. Whatever it is. Oh, it's, I think it's 4.7 centimeter. Yep, turn the front, turn the front. We had to do a charge. They pushed us into an awkward situation. Oh, that's not bad. Load, 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 load. We can take these hits, we can take them. There we go, target down, target down. We are immobilised. We need immediate infantry support on that position. So engineers, get your asses up here to support the tank, make sure it doesn't get overrun. We need to start the assault, start pushing up forward now. SU 122, it's your job to move up to the front. The tanks are also going to support. This infantry squad is also going to push through the tree line, and the tank is going to support them as well. We've now got general assault pushing forward. Combined elements from all over this company slash area at company level. And there we go, we're moving forward. And the enemy does not know what's about to arrive. These units are injured, so we've got the assault engineers coming to support them. They will dig in along this line. We've got enemy mortars there, god damn it. Holy crap, that did a lot of damage. Move, 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 quick. What the hell is that? Is that a 120 mil? That's that's a 15 that's a 17 centimetre mine worth a quick spin, 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 spin. Engage. Holy crap, that thing's powerful. What the hell is that? That's a 75 cent 75 millimetre. Crap, get the tank back. Pull back, pull back, pull back. Load, 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 load. SU 122. Time to shine, lad. Oh, did injure him, I think. Reload, reload. We'll take some hits, but hits will be taken. We'll get multiple enemy guns firing at us. Keep firing, keep firing. Crap. There we go, gun system down. Get out of there, get, into the, get to the building, take cover. 
Actually, 122 there, being worth his weight in gold. Tank's still fine, bring him over. Which is fine, get him up, get him up. We have taken hits there. Get the infantry there, get the tank up. Let's start engaging us, actually, 122. Start pushing, what the hell are you doing? Start messing around, get in there. position the infantry over the field get the tank out there supporting as well so engineers can push up infantry here not we do have a sort infantry here is this tank safe yet the sort infantry can start pushing this way this armor can come whoa we've got enemy contact 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 but right, so engaging quick Why is the main gun not even pointed forward, you absolute pork morons? You know, high explosive like tank. Steve's right there, it's going to be the firing position. There we go, good hit, good hit. Engineers, take position there. Oh, hit the deck, oh no, pull back, pull back, pull back, that's not going well. Where's the 122, why is it not firing? It should be firing. That was terrible. Load, 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 load. He should be dealing with that stew by himself. Load up, load up, load up. Load up again. I think the stew's been hit. Load. There we go, that's more like it. Is that stew you're not down yet? Jesus Christ, are you serious? There's enemy gun coming as well. Crap. It's a pack. Load. Load high, load high X. Quick, start engaging. Christ, this could get really dicey. He's now behind cover. SU 122 doing his job, good stuff. Load, 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 load. Christ almighty. The Russians really need to rifle the barrels of these tanks. There we go. I explain about the tank again. Oh, there's a reinforcements coming right into us though. This is gonna get bad. There we go, good stuff. Right, just Pull back a bit, take cover and stay down. Right, these are sort troops. If you can get up there and start pushing. Tanks are not in a bad spot, you guys. Here, look, you idiots, that's why you're in cover. Jesus Christ. Medics, is anyone to actually heal? I think they're all dead, to be fair. We got hit by pretty high caliber weapons. What the hell is that firing at us? Oh, is that. Is that back? Well, I think it was only a 45 milli, but that was pretty tough. Where's the spy truck getting him up here? We need him. Pull back, pull back. Spread that around there. SU 122. Truck is on the way. You can keep firing. Fire rounds away, rounds away. Where's the where's the bloody max? That is a ton of dead troops, holy moly. The Finns have learned what the SU 122 can do to a man. Just absolute butchers. Groups up. I think there's just an anti tank gun or something in the middle. Start pushing forward. Just get up there. Move up. D34 should be covering fire. There we go. Keep firing, keep firing. Push forward. Infantry sport. Infantry sport. Explode? Well, fire. What actually hits? Or gun or something down there, I don't know. Just get into cover there quick. Right, before we start capturing, you might as well capture that gun system there. Um, that's not worth taking. And most of them have been dead now, pretty dead anyway. Has he got rearmed? Oh, yeah, quite a bit. Let's push him up. Get up there, stop being cowards, get in there. Sort engineers, train through the ammo, good stuff. What the hell is that? Like Maxime, Maxime. Don't know what else we've just killed. A Maxim? Yeah, might as well take it. Capture these howitzers, we can sell them on for quite a nice bit of money. And there we go, that's a pretty good, pretty good assault actually. Went quicker than I thought it would have from the start. 
the enemy put up some good resistance. Not as much armour as I'm used to seeing for the Finns, but a lot of artillery. If they actually come in with some protection, that artillery could have really made a mess of us. I may have to keep the 150mm guns so I don't actually have any heavy artillery, and that'll save me a lot of research points. Normally I don't keep stuff, but it's very sad. Holy crap! Spin, 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 spin. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Spin, 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 spin. Holy crap, talk about flying. Came out of goddamn nowhere. And there we go, right into the right into the kill zone. I do like that for a picture, that is absolutely fantastic. Just completely ruined. A broken tank. No more survival for you, my friends. You have been eliminated. The shadow of sorrow there. Respect. Good shadow effects actually. I've never really noticed the shadow effects so much in the game. Yeah, I play Barbara bar Studios. Fair play. I think we captured everything of value. There's no more stuff to capture there. It says there's something there. What is it? Oh, an anti-tank rifle. Eh, is it really worth... Yeah, just chuck someone on it. We might be able to get some manpower out of it. Eh, yeah, no, we'll be fine. Right, we killed 234 enemy infantry. Wow, I didn't realise that there was that many enemies. We only lost 15 of Rome, so that was very successful. Six, 17 vehicles slash replacement destroyed. And we lost zero, so that's a really good assault. Probably one of the best we've had. Anyway, I'll see you in the rearmament screen in a moment, gentlemen. And here we are, the rearmament screen. So we've got 1,588.5 manpower, 1 1.5 support stars, 1,800 munitions, and 7.5 research. That is a lot. So we've just unloaded everything. Now, that is a massive amount of research points. I didn't realise we'd be getting that much, actually, so that's fantastic. Um, as of now, we might as well just rearm everything. Oh, no, didn't want to rearm the... Actually, well, we can sell these. We've still got tons of munitions. We will just sell off all the artillery because... We have a lot of research points. What well, we're doing, We're okay, manpower wise. We are going to check the research tree now. I'm too eager to look. Oh, SU 85 is a good tank destroyer. T 34 85, which is pretty awesome. And then we could get access to the bigger variants. T 35. There is the other option of going for calling stage 5, which would probably use be a lot better for us. We can't actually get it yet. Oh, that sucks. Um, yeah, we'll actually have to go for the command squad and call in stage 5 because we are getting pretty pretty tight on manpower. So we can't get it just yet, but it means on the next assault we should get. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the episode. I certainly did, and I'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching, everyone. You guys have a fantastic evening.